won't be able to read Yale's medical report if she's around. Jerry Highfield, long time no see. Blackside, I didn't want to wake you. How's the boy? Asleep. I hope he recovers in time for the fight. I got tickets. Although between you and me, he doesn't stand a chance. It'll be a fun bout. Nonetheless, not like this. God, this is boring. Are the odds against Yale that bad? The boy's talented, don't get me wrong. But stone is stone, you know? I bet half my pay, but you know, no vice for me. You want to smoke? Don't smoke or drink, no vice for me. Smoking's dirty. Alcohol goes straight to your head. And women, they're all just me. Well, everyone except mine. Are you sure about that? Not even one little vice? Nope. Between you and me, when someone gives in to vice, it's because something's missing. Something in their life just isn't right. I've got a good wife, a good job, a good house, a good TV, and a good hobby. Sports. Well, watching them, that is. What else do I need, eh? Black said, vice is for loose. Man, I'm bored. You say you've got a good job, and yet you're bored. Well, it's just a figure of speech, really. I like my job. Is it boring? Yes, but I can entertain myself with a good fight, a good football game. Well, watching them, that is. Well, I'm going back in. Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... So, so, uh, 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 I don't know. Maybe I know your name because we're family. No way. My dad never calls me. My grandpa never calls me. My uncle never calls... Well, he does sometimes. You, you're Uncle John! Uncle John! I guessed it! 
You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I lick? Hmm. What do you want? I want... A gun! Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang! All right. You've earned it. How about a toy gun? Don't you worry about me. I do worry about you. Especially when you tell me not to. <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that. Hey, we're kind of in a hurry. Ray's got a dentist appointment. I'll call you soon, okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. One last thing. Ray, hurry up. We have to go. Have you heard from Dad lately? Not since his last letter. Same old, same old. Okay, now I really have to go. Bye, John. Seems like the Doe nurse will be assisting Dr. Talbot during his 12.30 surgery. In four hours. Could I get them to operate any sooner? I won't be able to read Yale's medical report if she's around. Something's wrong with him. I need to find out what. Dr. Gregor Talbot, please. Yes, one minute. Um, no, actually, Dr. Talbot won't be in until 12.30, according to my registry. Can I ask who's calling, please? Sherry, this is Dr. Talbot. We have to reschedule the 12.30 procedure. I want everyone in the operating room in five minutes. If anyone gives you any grief, tell them it's a matter of life or death. Understood? A 
matter of life and death, a matter of life and death. You gotta be kidding me. something that you own oh, only if you guess why I'm giving it to you you want to help me solve a criminal investigation well aren't you smart but be quick about it you hear me huh if that witch comes back What does it say here? Ah, oh, you know doctors. The top handwriting is mine. Let's see. Extra systole and dehydration caused by panic attack. Extra what? You know, arrhythmia, like skipped heartbeats. What about this here? It's a good thing I know that Mr. Yale is in Dr. Ferguson's hands. Otherwise, I'd be worried. Hey, no means no, miss. You really don't know who I am, do you? Miss, I've got orders. And the fact is, those orders say that- There you are, Miss Dunn. Huh? Tell him, Black Sad. I can't get through that thick skull of his. You see, hi, Phil. This is my assistant, Jerry. Assistant? How so? She's helping me with the investigation. Between you and me, and all due respect, miss, but aren't we taking this woman's liberation a little too far? All right, go ahead. I guess it's her business after all. Your assistant? <laughs> you think I'd make a good detective? Indeed. You're cold and cunning. Two of our hallmark traits. I see tact is not one of those traits. Anyway, you did your job. I'll send you a check the day after the fight. You can leave now. gonna do something stupid. Sonia, don't. He killed my father. You said so yourself. No, I told you I wasn't sure. Look at your face. He did that, didn't he? How could he not be guilty? Your father wouldn't want you to do this. He was a just man, and this is not justice. Shut up. None of that matters. How could he not be guilty? Your father sacrificed everything to pay your way through college. If you do this, you'll destroy the future your father wanted you to have. <sighs> it's okay. <clears throat> Uncle Tim! Sweetie, I came back from Los Angeles as soon as I could. I told you not to rush back. Come on now, honey. Aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? No, this is John Blacksad, the detective who found Bobby. Oh, so this is strictly professional. I thought you had some good news for your uncle. No, Uncle Tim. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Look at you. Smart, educated, as dazzling as the brightest of stars. Every single man in this city should be at your feet. 
Uh, I just, uh, Come on. Uh, We'd better let him rest. It's just, uh, Hmm. Hmm. I see. Let's say you're right and Bobby Yale is innocent. Who should we focus on now? We? Well, your father turned down my money, but he made me promise one thing, that I'd take care of you if anything happened to him. But I can... I know you're perfectly capable of managing that gym on your own. But we don't even know if he'll be ready to fight Stone. Besides, someone seems really invested in stopping that fight. And someone has to pay Mr. Blacksad to get to the bottom of all this. Please, talk some sense into her. It's your life. As much as you love your uncle, it's up to you to decide whether you want his help or not. Blacksad, I was just starting to like you. All right. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you so much. All right. Stop crying or you'll ruin your makeup, honey. Now fix yourself up and I'll buy you some breakfast. Uh, wait. My purse. I'll get it. It must be... Black said, wait a minute. I think she needs some time alone. Just like you and me. Listen, boy. Do whatever it takes to find Joe's murder. Whatever it takes. If things get messy, don't worry. I'll clean them up. Deal? I'm not a vigilante. Well, suit yourself. Just get that ball to the end zone. No. Are you telling stories about the great iron arm again? Wait a minute. Of course. The milestone's quarterback. Tim Iron Arm <laughs> Thorpe. <laughs> it's a good thing folks usually recognize me sooner. Black said, you coming to breakfast? I'd love to, but I have to go ask for a favor. Jake wasn't at home, or at his usual bar. But on the third try, I found him. That lizard isn't Yale's doctor. He never feels inclined to hit me. He's twice my size. Not the smartest cookie in the jar, nor the most tactful. But do I trust him? No. Do I consider him a friend? Yes. He's been training with those same shorts for who knows how long.
Hey, Jake. Not now, John. This one's got extra padding, just like Jake. How many hits does a boxer take to the head throughout his career? Hey, hi. Hey, focus, will ya? Right, that's enough. <clears throat> Take five. Go on. What, John? What's so important? Have you noticed anything strange about Sonia? I don't know. Yesterday she said she hated the gym. But it also seemed like she wanted to save the place. Do you get any of this? I sure don't. The gym is paying her way through college, and she still has a year left. I guess she doesn't have any other option. Why are you coaching that guy? Oh, that's right. You don't know. Sonia asked me to run the gym. Well, at least the fun part. As soon as Bobby yells back on his feet, I'll turn him into a champ. I'll make him crush stone. Just you wait. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Is it the first time you coached anyone? Yeah, but uh, you think I can't do this, don't you? Well, screw you. We'll win that fight. Could you tell me where Old Erie's headquarters are? Uh, what for? No, no, no. You could get me into trouble. No way. You lied to me yesterday, and being the good friend that I am, I kept your secret. You owe me. I don't think I'd keep protecting you if we weren't friends. Although, if we were friends, you wouldn't hesitate to help me. Tell me, Jake, are we friends or not? Damned cat. All right. O'Leary's hideout is in the basement of a Chinese restaurant. But I don't even know how to get in. Well. I'll see you tonight. Wait, were we supposed to meet? Of course. Your place, 11 p.m. See you there. Ronald, the break's over. After 30 hours of work and several beatings, every bone in my body ached for a bed. Now it's my turn. So I went home to recharge. <clears throat> because the night ahead was bound to be promising.
do you know about that basement? Well, let me think. Nothing. Come on, Jake, for Christ's sake. I'm running out of threats to get you talking, Jake. And frankly, I don't want things to get violent. I've come to get O'Leary several times, but they always make me wait in the dining room. One day it was so late that the restaurant was closed. They made me call from a payphone in that alley over there to let them know I was here. A few minutes later, O'Leary came out the back door, that red one there. All right, you stay by the payphone. Wait till I'm inside. If you see anyone, call the same number you did that one time. Let it ring twice and hang up. Got it? Screw you! A promising night indeed. Could it be an elevator shaft? How does this thing open? Rabbit. I'm guessing it lights up when they ring at the main door. <laughs> Does he need a shotgun to deal with suppliers? Would he even notice if I got in? to the basement. <laughs> no. The plan will only work if O'Leary doesn't know I've been here. If I'm right, and this is a service elevator, it could be my gateway. If only I could reach that box. What happened? Should we run for it? Do I look like I'm in a hurry? I need your brute force, Jake. Uh, what's wrong? Is the little kitten too, uh... And your silence.
ourselves when it's far too late. Why do they have so many paper notes? Do they get that many orders? Good thing the TV was louder. Are they carpeting the floors? 